Hi everyone. Um, right, this is one of the tags that's going in the orders that I've had from the £10 kits. And I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you everybody who's bought one. I think up to now there's six or seven that's gone. Well, they will be going out because um, it's only Monday tomorrow. And um, I really, really appreciate it. And I, I do think that you'll like them um, because there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that in them all. Uh, I will be doing some more kits, so don't worry about it. Um, I, I'm going to be mixing and matching these. Now, I'm not matching anything, because you know me, I don't. <laughs> but um, I don't want to do normal kits like everybody else does, themes and whatever. I just want to do kits with a bit of this and that in. So, thank you very much, everybody that's bought one. Now, this, like I said, this is one of the tags. It's just drying at the moment. that's going in. I haven't put the fibres in just yet, but I will do. And what I did, you know the trim I made last night? I hope you can see this. Well, I know it stands out a bit from the rest of this, but um, I do like it. And you know me, don't always go with the colour scheme or anything like that. So what I've done, I've taken some lace and I've glimmer misted it using the Cosmic Shimmer, uh, which is the bronze blush. Now when you spray that on, um, it, it's that's the colour. I hope you can see that. And it does give like a hint of pink in the back, as well as this uh, purpley colour. But I also added to that some emerald leaf, which is my own. Now, um, I sprayed all the back of the tag as well. I then dried that off. Uh, I mean, this came out pretty dark, but the back didn't, as you can see. It's got hints of green in that. I then um, distressed the edges using the frayed burlap, which is that one. Um, then what I've done is I've cut this what I had a little template thing like that so I've cut that out for my tag I need to get the die for that but I can't get hold of it but um, I've cut that out by hand I've added this gorgeous frame now y you know I wish I had a good memory I'm sorry I've not and if I've emailed anybody asking things twice please understand I'm getting old <laughs> Well, I am 50 next <laughs> this month. But, oh, just let me shut the door because the dog's just decided to come in and she's a pain. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I don't mean that. You heard every word I said and I didn't mean that. You know I didn't mean it. Well, you could shut the door after you. It's all right, she can open it, but she can't bloody shut them. But anyway, let's get back to this. So, what I did, um, I um, used the frayed burlap but I accidentally used the wrong sponge and it had the green on instead of the brown so I've got like a green hint tint here and I used that on the edges as well as uh, so I've done that and then I edged it in the black soot which is that one I did have some of these uh, this bling which I've chopped up to make my own pattern thing because I don't always go by what's on the pack you know what, what how you get them I like to chop them up and put them where I want them I've used this gorgeous uh, curly rose from I, um, Wild Orchid Crafts and as you know they sponsor me but I always use their flowers, I absolutely adore them and then I've used these as well, the blossom uh, in the two tone colour. Um, I added the bit of trim and I've put, because it's got pink in here, I did add pink pearl to the trim. Um, and I, It really came out pretty that trim, I absolutely loved that. And I just thought it needed a little bit of brightness somewhere on here because it's quite a dark tag. These are porcelain roses that you get with this bling. And you can lift the flap. Uh, well, you can slightly, if you bend that back slightly, you can slot a picture in here. I'm not putting a picture in it because I think somebody might want to put their own picture in it. Don't, I haven't done anything with the back and they do get marked and that because, you know, you're, you're drying them and they get wet and whatever. So you'll have to forgive me because I don't do backs. <laughs> well, not very often. But this, this is going in one of the £10 kits. Um, I do. I have some made up ready, but I didn't have enough for the amount of kits I've sold. So I am today going to spend some time and make some more tags. And um, now I'm just going to show you another tag that I did, um, which is the blue one. And some, some person, some lucky person is going to get that one as well in their £10 kit. So there you go. I will be doing a few more today because uh, they don't take long to do. They're quite quick actually. 
And uh, I'll come back and show you those and I might do a tutorial on one. Now what I did with this trim, uh, do you remember I, I, I cut them individually? So I actually sat last night and um, stitched them on and I've got a little bit of trim to make another tag and I'm going to do a lilac tag next. I might film that one for you and I've got that bit of lace to do as well. So there you go, that's uh, one tag ready for the £10 kit and uh, I hope you like that. So I'll be back shortly. Speak to you soon. Right, what I'm doing now is I'm just going to do another tag for these uh, kits and I'm using my own fancy grate, purple. There is a little bit of green in the bottom but I'm not bothered about that because it will just all add to the colour. I'm just soaking the bottom of here, my tub. Oops. Oh, probably clogged it up now. I'm always doing it. <laughs> But what I'm going to do now is just pop my tag in. I'm just leaving it like that. And then I'm just going to pop my tag in like that. And then lift that out. Whoa, like that. So I love the effect you get when you, you know, you do different things like that. Now, I'm just going to heat this up. Now what I'm using is this. Um, stamp that my husband got me and I absolutely adore this one and I'm going to move it quite up to the top and I'm just going to emboss uh, I'm going to use the um, Cosmic Shimmer in the pink I think embossing powders just going to get a piece of paper, pop that on, spread that over, I hope you can see this, oh really pretty, love these cosmic shimmer powders, they're absolutely stunning, let's pop that to one side, back and I'm just going to heat set this now it hasn't gone on absolutely perfect but I'm not bothered about that but as you can see it is stunning but what I am going to do and I do have some little stamps here um, I'm just going to find the one I'm after I should have the oh there it is that'll do and um, I'm just going to use Mm. No, I'll use the dobber um, just to stamp on that and I'm going to place a little flower here and to that I'm going to use a different colour of the Cosmic Shimmer which is oops, I just oh, oh no room no room <laughs> it don't matter how much room I make I never get it right oh dear come on lady sort yourself out because I've got them tucked in this little drawer. I wanted them separate from the others. Is that right? No, too thick. Too thick. Let me have a look at this one. Woo! Uh, that's what I have to do. So I'm just going to... Mm, yeah. I'm going to put that on, but then I'm just going to press it down to make sure that it does actually catch that. And then just tap that back in. And hopefully that will hold. Beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice. I do like that. I like messing about with things like this. Um, I just think it's fab. And then I'm going to pop another one. Um, just here. I've, I've lost some lace last night. I don't know what I've done with it. Oh dear. 
I was making them lace trims last night and I just can't find the lace. I had a wad of lace. It wasn't on a... Uh, I normally wrap them round something and it wasn't on anything. It was just a loose piece of lace somebody had sent me. And I thought, I'll use that. It'd be nice to use it. I like using what people send me. And uh, I've used it to do that bit of trim. And then I lost it. <laughs> and I've looked in the bin. It's not there. Oh, just one minute something, so I've just got time to do another one. And I'll, I'll come back and I'll just have to stitch this video together. Yeah. Like that, you don't need too much on. You don't need to do too much to it. Pop that back on. Now what I'm going to do is take the dusty concord with the right applicator. <laughs> Uh, oh, sorry, first of all, I'll just pop that on there in a minute, because what I want to do is I take my knife, and I'm just going to score the edges. I don't have one of those Tim Holtz things. I just use my knife, and it's just as good, just as quick, and cost you nothing. I'm not bothered about the bottom, because I'm going to be putting some lace on there. just blow that out of the way I clean it all up later and I do my desk off I have to clean my desk every day now so that I can uh, work properly <laughs> right what I'm going to do now is like I say you can just deconcord um, and first of all I'm just going to do it that way to get the dark edge that I'm after love these really simple to eat, use and cheap do the same job, if not better. Nice to have branded name stuff, but at the end of the day, if someone else does the same job, you don't need it, do you? And I don't mean to upset anybody by it, because it's everybody's choice what they buy. I have got one, but it was uh, sent to me as a gift, and I much, much appreciate it, because I, I didn't have anything at the time, and I was just using a bit of sponge. But I do find these are just as good. And as I'm not going to be buying loads and loads of the Tim Holtz ones, I'll just rather use these. So, yeah, that looks really nice. don't know if you can see the colours on that. It's really pretty, isn't it? Right, what I'm going to do now is I do have that bit of trim that's going on the bottom there. But first of all, I want some lace. I'm going to match it up with the lace I used to make the trim. If I can get this the right way around, because I can never guess it right. Yes, I think that's it. So what I'm going to do is just glue the bottom here of the trim. Pull it straight. Pop that on. Don't worry about any glue coming out there, because you're going to be covering that anyway. And then just use my scissors. <laughs> chop that off there because you're going to trim that later and then go over that again oops, with the glue just above it basically that's why I said it didn't matter if it went on it and then handmade trim is going to go on there I know my tag is slightly bigger but I'm not bothered about that whatsoever you know what I like about it is that I've made my own trim uh, handmade my own tag using my own glimmer mists and uh, I'm quite quite ha oops it's come off wait a minute didn't press it on enough quite quite happy with that quite happy and I can always trim that side down if I wanted to let me see no because I know what I'm going to do with that 
I don't want to spoil it. I like what I've done so far. I gorgeous trim that. Right, just pop those up there together. And the next thing. See, I don't want to spoil that, but somebody else may want to put uh, a little mat on it or something. So, well, I'll put a mat on it, and they might want to do a um, a picture. So all I've done is taken a piece of card. Where's my pencil? There we go. Drawn round the template. See the time? Oh, two minutes something, so I'm not doing too bad. And then just start to cut that out. All I've got to do now, is, I've put the mat, the picture mat here because I didn't want to spoil this. I've put the clock on, um, the vintage clock, and I've just put as time goes by. Um, and I've put some bling around. Uh, I'm going to put another bit of bling on there because uh, I do like this pink and, and white bling. So, two, four, six, trying to keep them all at the... Um, oops, that will come off. Like that. Yeah, I like that. It's quite pretty. <coughs> so there you go. That's another tag finished, and we'll be going out in one of the ten pound parcels, uh, kit parcels. And I'm, uh, like I said before, I'm really grateful for everything that everybody's um, bought from me and. Um, never had any complaints yet, so I do hope you're all satisfied with any parcel that you get from me. Um, <clears throat> always try and throw a little bit extra in because um, it's nice to know you're getting your money's worth. And my God, you don't get it these days. Not often. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.